Hello student, let us start our discussion. So in previous lecture we have seen the applications of logic micro operation. So let us continue our discussion with shift micro operation. So in this uh, session we will learn that which are the various type of shift operation and how it will uh, create the different impact on data. So uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, I have uh, I have tried to create the figure for uh, uh, four type of shift that is normal shift, then logical shift, then circular shift, then uh, arithmetic shift. So uh, let us discuss all type of shift operation uh, one by one. So uh, what is actually shift operation? Shift operation is nothing but uh, shifting uh, bits into particular direction. So uh, any of the shift, either it can be left shift or it can be right shift. So uh, let us discuss that uh, uh, how it will uh, how it this operation shift operation will be performed. So for shift operation uh, we will take some binary data and uh, then we will perform the uh, shift operation. So for example let us take any four digit uh, binary data for example 1010 okay so if we convert this into the decimal then it will be 1 2 4 and 8 so 2 plus 8 10 okay so now we will see that uh, what will be the impact of shift micro, micro operation on various type of data so let us start with the simple shift. So in first shift, uh, this shift will be useful whenever we are uh, trying to get the data from the input device. So uh, here there will be input from IO, IO or IO device, input output device. Okay, so rather than IO out, output device, uh, we will say that uh, there will be input from the uh, input device. So here we will write input device okay uh, so let us assume initially uh, there is a value like one zero one zero which is our variable value like this and uh, then uh, we will write down some uh, input from the input device so let's say we are having all one So uh, how left uh, shift left will work? So in left shift, we will shift all the bits in left side and uh, then uh, uh, we will put the new uh, bit or this one on the first position. Okay, so if we perform the shift operation, then this zero will be shifted here. So it will be like this. This one will be shifted here. It will be like this. This zero will be shifted here and then this one it will be discarded and this one will be shifted here okay so if we uh, convert this into the decimal then 0 1 0 1 so 1 2 and 4 so this will become 5 let's go with the shift right so in that case uh, let me take uh, some other uh, binary input for example triple one zero and current value of register is one zero one zero so what will happen in shift right this one will be shifted here so here it will be one this zero will be shifted here so here it will be zero this one will be shifted here so it will be one and this zero will be discarded Clear? and this zero will enter here so what is the binary value z one zero one zero so again for this also we will get five as a answer let us discuss what is logical shift in case of logical shift uh, let us write down uh, all those value value of uh, variable a so one zero one zero 
which we are taking for uh, reference purpose so here there will be zero so if we perform logical shift left then this zero will be shifted here this one will be shifted here this zero will be shifted here and this one will be discarded and a new zero will enter into the first position okay so if we convert this into the uh, decimal then it is zero zero one zero so if we convert this into decimal then it will be one two and four so answer will be four let's try logical shift right so one zero one zero so here this one will be shifted here right side this zero will be shifted here this one will be shifted here and this zero will be discarded and here zero will enter okay so answer will be uh, zero one zero one so here we will get five is the answer now you can see clearly that in normal shift operation we will consider the input okay while in logical shift we will always put zero okay whether it is left or it is right shift so in normal shift we will consider the input from the input device while in case of logical shift we will always put zero so let us continue our discussion next type of shift that is circular shift let me write down the value 1 0 1 0 now this is interesting so this 0 will be shifted here this 1 will be shifted here this 0 will be shifted here in previous case we were discarding this one okay but in this case we will not discard it this one will be shifted to the first position okay so instead of uh, in, in previous case here we here you can see we were getting one zero one zero okay but here also uh, here we will get uh, zero one zero one okay so if we try to convert this into the decimal then we will get five as the answer let us discuss circular shift right one zero one zero so this one will be shifted here this zero will be shifted here this one will be shifted here and this zero means first bit it will become the last bit so zero one zero one okay so if we convert this into uh, decimal then it will be five now we can see uh, in both cases normal shift and logical shift we were discarding the uh, you can say the last bit and first bit okay in circular shift we will not discard any bit but uh, we will simply uh, bring the uh, bit to the first position or last position accordingly <coughs> let us discuss the last type of shift that is arithmetic shift now in all these three shift micro operation we have not considered the sign number so when we are working with the sign number then we have to go with the arithmetic shift in case of sign number MSB means most significant bit this one it will represent the sign bit okay so if it is 1 that means number is uh, negative and if it is 0 that means number is positive so let's see how this arithmetic shift work okay so let me write down the value 1 0 1 0 
Now here, if you perform the normal shift, then what will happen? Shift left. Here it will be zero, new zero. This zero will be here. Then this one will be here. This zero will be here. And this one will be discarded. So answer will be zero one zero zero. So uh, if we consider in previous scenario, then if we consider this one as a sign bit, then it is minus two. And here in this case, after performing left of left shift operation, it will become plus four. Okay, so what is our concern? Our concern is sign. Okay, because of this uh, shift operation, the sign of number is changed. Okay, negative number is converted into positive or vice versa. Positive number also can be converted into the negative. Okay, so uh, this situation is known as overflow. Okay, why? Be why? Because because of shift operation, uh, there is a change in the sign of the number. Okay, so uh, this is known as overflow. If we want to implement a mechanism, okay, that will let us know in advance that uh, uh, shift left operation or arithmetic shift left operation will result into overflow. Then what we can do? We will take the XOR of uh, two MSB. Okay, means most significant bit at uh, uh, second last or uh, second most uh, most significant bit. So uh, we will take the XOR and if these two digits are unequal, okay, then we will set the value of overflow flag to one. Okay, so we can have idea that this will result into the overflow well in advance. How arithmetic shift right will work? So let us write down the value one zero one zero. Now, previously what was happening that we were shifting all the bit, okay, but here you can see here I have written, uh, here I have drawn one uh, self directing arrow. So this one will be as it is, means we will keep sign bit as it is and then we will propagate all bit or then we will shift all bit into the right direction. So this one will become one over here, this zero will be shifted here, this one will be shifted here and this zero will be discarded okay so previously what was the value uh, minus two but after performing arithmetic shift right what is the new value one two and four so one and four five and negative sign Okay, uh, there should be a obvious question that what is need of learning all this thing? Okay, why we should learn or why we should use the shift operation? So first of all, let me uh, tell you that in uh, future we will learn common bus architecture. So at that time uh, we will learn that uh, there are uh, various uh, registers and all the registers are connected to common bus. So in that case, what will happen? that uh, different registers will have different size let uh, let me tell you just for your uh, just for example that uh, size of accumulator means uh, where we will perform all operation it is 16 bit okay and size of output register it is 8 bit okay so whatever result is that of 16 bit if i want to transfer that to output register then how we can transfer it so uh, first i will transfer the bit number 0 to 7 bit number 0 to 7 into output register okay so those 7 uh, 8 bit will be transferred and then i will perform uh, either you can go with uh, logical shift right or you can perform the circular shift right for eight times okay so if you perform eight time uh, let's say circular shift operation then what will happen uh, bit number 8 to 15 
will be on position 0 to 7 and beat number 0 to 7 will be on position 8 to 15 and then I can transfer remaining 8 bit ok so previously we already transferred 8 bit then we have performed the circular shift or logical shift uh, for 8 times so we will change the value of uh, you can say higher order byte to lower order byte and lower order byte to higher order byte and then we will transfer the lower order, uh, lower order byte to output so uh, these are the various uh, shift operation and uh, it can be useful in various operation in uh, uh, booth multiplication algorithm we can also uh, use uh, the shift micro operation and then in division uh, so uh, there are various applications of shift micro operation so we will complete this topic here thank you